Hey guys, let's pick it up where we left off last time. Uh, we're going to be doing problem 4 from the fundamental problems from chapter 2. As we saw in the previous uh, videos, we have been doing working with Cartesian coordinate systems, right? You know, the regular XY system. Over here, we're going to have a UV system. And to explain why that matters is because in the past, you know, your XY system, in the previous problems we've been building a resultant vector out of by adding two other vectors okay and this little demonstration here I just want to show you how we can build any vector in 2d by adding two other vectors so in this case this 30 pound vector can be added up by two components one in the X Let's call it fx plus 1 in the y. Okay? And the resultant of these two makes up that 30 degree, that 30 pound vector, okay? But now here, and notice how those two those two vector components that I just added up are parallel to the x-axis and parallel to the y-axis. So now here I'm gonna have a actually let's draw my this, these auxiliary lines here and then we know that my u axis is in this direction and my v axis makes a 15 degree angle here okay and this is my v axis all right now let's look at the let's draw the 30 pound vector so 30 pound vector goes in this direction at a 30 degree angle okay so use some trig here you know some basic geometry we know that this the red lines are making a 90 degree triangle right I mean sorry 90 degree angle um, we want to we want to find what this angle is all right just so we can get everything out of the way find everything so 90 minus 15 minus 30 so that's 90 minus 45, right? So this in here is going to be 45 degrees. All right. And now let's go back to what we were talking about, adding two vectors to make up that 30 pound vector. All right. So the two vectors, the two vector components that are going to make up this 30 pound vector are going to be parallel to the U and V axis. So let's draw a vector here that's parallel to the V. Okay, and this is a quick way of drawing the force, the force triangles that we've been doing, right? So now here I have my f sub u vector plus my f sub v vector, right? And the resultant is the 30 pound vector that we've been given, okay? And that's what they want. You're saying determine the magnitude of each of these components, okay? Before we were giving two components or two vectors, and we were getting the resultant. Now we're get we're given the resultant, and we're trying to find out the two vectors that make up that resultant vector. All right, that's what I mean. You you need to understand vectors, so you can really do well in the future chapters. Um, oh yeah, the arrow. All right, so let's just use the sine law, or the cosine law, one of the two. So we know that this is the magnitude of this side is 30 pounds we don't know it here and we don't know it here okay but we do have some angles okay we do know that this over here is um, well actually we don't know this one over here but we know 30 degree here okay that's 30 degrees okay and let's let's try to figure out maybe some other angle that we might need Okay. In this case, we can let's see. <clears throat> um, let's draw auxiliary. Let's let's draw some auxiliary lines here. Right. Okay. And then I know that um, I know that this will be fifteen degrees. Right, because the the component parallel to V 
will always make a 15 degree angle with the vertical line. Okay, so that's 15. Um, we know that this will be 30, right? Because it's this line over here and this auxiliary line here are parallel to each other, and now we're just drawing a line cutting across, right? So we know that internal angles are going to be the same. So here's 30 degrees. And I want you to work this out yourself. So pause the video, try to work out um, all the angles here. And then th this, this I could see this as being one of the, uh, like a homework problem, probably not an exam problem, just because it might take too long. And then, so if we know 30 and 40, 15 here, we're going to know that this is 45. Or we find out that this is 45. Okay, and we could have known this again if we look at this v axis here and the fv component. We have two parallel lines and a line cutting through. So again, we know the internal angles are going to be the same. All right. So this is 30. This is 45. Right. So now we can figure out what this angle theta is because we know the internal angles, the sum of all three, should add up to 180. Okay. So let's do that real quick. And this is, I'm just gonna put theta equals 105 degrees, okay? And now, <coughs> you can either do the sine law or the cosine law, okay? Actually, the sine law, all right? Just stick with the sine law, because it's easier. So we know magnitude of some side divided by the sine of the angle opposite to that side, so that's 105 equals the magnitude of one other side that we're looking for, F sub u, divided by the sine of the angle opposite to that one, sine 45. Okay, and this gives us F sub u is equal to, let's see, sine 45 divided by sine 105. Okay, so 21.9, so roughly 22 pounds. And I'll do the same thing for F sub V equals F sub V sine of the angle opposite to F sub V, so that's 30 sine 30. Okay, so 30 times sine 30 divided by sine 105. And that gives me F sub V as 15.5 pounds, okay? And that's how you get both of, uh, of the sides, so pretty much the magnitude of the two components that make up that 30 pound vector, okay? And yeah, and uh, there you have it. So remember, don't do Pythagorean theorem for this, so don't do this. because it's not a right triangle, okay? So that's not gonna work. You have to use the sine law or some other law, okay? All right, guys, <coughs> uh, thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you in the next video. If you have questions, post them down below.